In this Gelato print on demand tutorial, I'm going to share with you how to start a wall art business using Gelato and Shopify. I'm also going to share with you the design process and how you can give your customers options to personalize their wall art. I won't stop. No, 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 no. First step in this process is clicking the link pinned in the comments or description below to get access to Gelato. Once you're all signed up with Gelato, you will have access to your dashboard, which looks like this. Next step in this process is clicking on stores right here on the left side of the screen. And for this Gelato print on demand tutorial, we are gonna be using Shopify. All you're gonna wanna do is click on Shopify and connect. If you don't have a Shopify account, go ahead and sign up and take advantage of the free trial they have going on. Real quick, if you like content like this, make sure you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell that way you don't miss out on any future videos now with that out the way let's move on with this gelato print on demand tutorial now that you're all signed up with gelato and shopify everything's connected and ready to go click right here where it says add product and you want to click on this plus button right here add product if you look right here to the left side of the screen you want to click right here where it says wall art and as you can see we have multiple options that we can choose from for this tutorial we're gonna go with framed posters now we have a bunch of options that we can choose let's go with this premium matte paper metal framed poster click on that and for this next step you have to choose your orientation i'm gonna go with vertical and for size you can actually choose multiple sizes whichever sizes you want to offer in your store just for this tutorial i'm gonna click on 13 by 18 centimeters next step in this gelato print on demand tutorial it's gonna be the design process I'm right here on Adobe Illustrator. If you do not have access to Adobe Illustrator, I highly recommend it for your business. Once you're on the screen, all you want to do is click on new file. Right here under preset details, you actually want to erase this right here. And I'm going to put gelato wall art 13 by 18. Now for width, it's going to be 13 centimeters. And you want to make sure that it says centimeters right here. All right, guys. Then for height, it's going to be 18 centimeters. And you want to make sure you pick the correct orientation. And you can click on create. Now the next step in this design process is clicking right here on this rectangle tool, okay? And you want to left click right here inside the artboard and you want to hold it and drag it all the way across till it connects, okay? Just like that. You want to go right here where you see the arrows, left click, just drag across till it connects. The same thing up here, just like that. Now, if you look right here to the left, there's a fill box. Double click on that. And I'm just going to put my cursor. Let's go with red. All right. I'm going to click on OK. There you have it. Now, the next step in this design process is going to be adding a design. Real quick, if you want access to 10 free PNG designs and 11 AI files where you can easily go in, open up those files in Adobe Illustrator and create even more designs, then make sure you click the link in the description box below so that way you can get access to those files. And if you would like unlimited access to over 5 million fonts and designs for just $1 your first month, then make sure you click the link in the description box below where you can get access to Creative Fabrica. After your first month, it'll be $19 a month, which comes down to 35% discounted. Again, the link will be in the description box below. Now, with all that said, let's move on with today's tutorial. I'm going to go right here in my finder. I'm going to go to desktop. I'm going to click on this cartoon head I have here. And as you can see, it filled up pretty much the whole screen. All I'm going to do is make sure I click on this selection tool and I'm going to drag it all the way till I see the corner, just like so. Now I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to left click on the corner, drag it all the way down. You want to make sure you size it all the way down until it fits in the artboard. Now that you size it down, let's say you want to center it. Okay, you can actually eyeball it if you want, or you can go right here to the right where it says align, and you can click on this button right here that says horizontal align center, just like so. If you want to bring it up just a little bit, you can do that as well. You can actually click on this button right here, just like that. Let's say you want to add some text. You can click on this type tool, and you can click right here on the bottom of the actual image, all right? Right here to the right where it says character, you can choose your font. So I'm actually gonna go with this font right here called Luckiest Guy. Click on that. I'm gonna type in my name. After you type in the name, you can click on the selection tool, okay? Just grab the corner, hold down shift, left click, and just size it up. Just like that. Let's say you wanna change the color of your font. All you have to do is highlight it. Click right here where it says fill to the right under appearance. And I'm gonna click on this gray right there, okay? 
Now you can click on the selection tool again. And as you can see, we have our font and the color we want, okay? If you want to center your text, all you have to do is make sure it's highlighted and go right here to the right. Click on this horizontal align center and it'll center it out, all right? Once you're satisfied with how it looks, the next step is going to be going over to file, export, export as. As you can see, our file is already named. Right here, I'm actually going to save it to my downloads. You want to make sure you click on use artboard and click on export. Once this page pops up, all you're going to want to do is make sure it says high 300 PPI, just like this. Click on OK. Now that you exported your design from Adobe Illustrator, come back over to Gelato and click right here where it says add new. Click on add image, my device. Now locate that file. Here goes the file. I'm going to click on open and that file uploaded right here to the left, as you can see. All you want to do is click on this plus. After you clicked on that plus, it brought it over to this frame poster. But if you can see right here, you know, this actual image is touching on the top part of this frame poster, right? So what I'm going to do is go back over to Adobe Illustrator, okay? I'm going to bring down this Melvin, okay? Just like so. I'm going to make sure it's centered. Now I'm going to click on this image. I'm going to bring it down some more just like that, okay? I'm going to click right here where it says align, horizontal align center. Make sure it's centered out. Go to file, go to export, export as. I'm going to leave it just the way it is. Click on use artboard, click on export. Okay. So I'm going to replace that file. Click on replace. Go right back over here to Gelato. Click on choose file. I'm going to click on add more. My device, locate that design. Here it is. I'm going to click on open. So I'm going to replace it. So what I'm going to do is click on this one right here. Okay. I'm going to hit delete. Now I'm going to click on the one that I just uploaded. Click on this plus and there you have it. So as you can see, this image is more centered out, right? Once you're satisfied with how it looks, the next step is going to be choosing your mockups. Click right here where it says continue to mockups. As you can see, we have multiple options that we can choose from. I'm actually going to leave it right here on this one. Now I'm going to click on continue to details. Right here in this section, you're going to give your actual product the title. You want to give a well descriptive description. You can also add tags and you can add it to a collection, okay? For this title, I'm going to type in personalized face and name metal frame poster and for this description i'm going to leave it the way it is but for you you want to make sure you put some thought into this process okay for seo purposes so that way your store can be found all right next step is going to be clicking on this button right here that says continue to prices as you can see gelato's price is 16 dollars 36 and retail price is 22.90 which leaves you with a profit of six dollars 54 if you're comfortable with that you can leave it or what you can do right is you can increase it Let's say you want to sell it for 30 bucks. All right. Your profit's going to be $13.64. Once you're satisfied with your price, next thing you're going to want to do is click right here where it says publish. So I'm right here on my Shopify dashboard, right here where it says online store. I'm going to click on this eyeball right here and it's going to bring up my store, right? So I'm going to scroll down and as you can see, here goes our actual framed poster, right? So I'm going to click on it. All right. So now we actually have you know the title we actually have our description everything is right here right so if somebody wanted to purchase this they can add it to the cart okay you can view your cart, do all that fun stuff right you're probably wondering how can i give customers options to make this product a more personalized product let me show you you're going to want to come back over here to shopify you're going to want to click on apps and right here where it says type to find apps you actually want to type in this app right here it's called variant option product options okay so once you have that app installed i'm actually going to click on that right now so once you're on this page you're going to see two plans right you're going to see a basic plan and an advanced plan for personalizing products the basic plan is more than enough it's perfect and allows you to offer personalization for products you offer on your store so i'm going to click right here where it says activate and as you can see you have a 14 day free trial okay ending in 14 days so give it a shot if you don't like it then you don't have to continue on with it all right you can end that actual free trial right so i'm gonna go right here and click on approve so once you're on this screen right here you're gonna actually want to follow through with these steps right to add options to a single product you're gonna want to click on choose product so i'm gonna click on that i'm gonna go right here to this metal frame poster i'm gonna click on select so once you're on this page all you're gonna want to do right is add a virtual option so i'm gonna click on that button right here for title I'm going to type in upload file for type. I'm going to click on that arrow. 
click on file upload so for required I'm gonna click on that to make it required to upload a file now I'm gonna click on okay now I'm gonna actually add another virtual option so I'm gonna click on that I'm gonna type in your name just like that and for type you want to click on long text you can make it required if you want or you can leave it unselected I'm gonna leave it unselected so for the number of characters I'm gonna type in something like 20 okay and I'm gonna click on okay now I'm gonna add another virtual option all right so that's gonna be for the background color okay of the actual frame poster so I'm gonna click on add virtual option type in background color for type I'm gonna click on color swatches I'm gonna make it required on the bottom where it says value you can actually put whatever color you want right so I can type in something like blue okay just like that now you're probably wondering that's yellow not blue what you can do is click on it right and right here you can actually put the hex code of blue okay it's real simple all you can do right is go over to Google you can type in something like blue hex code just like that and right here as you can see the blue hex code is and then you have these numbers right and a couple letters all I'm gonna do is just highlight it okay just like that I'm gonna hit command C I'm on a Mac I'm gonna go back over here to Shopify I'm gonna highlight this okay and I'm gonna hit command V and as you can see it added the blue right there okay so now I'm gonna click off now I'm gonna add another value right if you want to add another color okay if you want to offer multiple colors all you have to do is click on add value okay let's say I want to do red go right here put in red just like that and right here I'm gonna highlight this hit command C go back over here just highlight this hit command V okay you guys get the idea you guys can add as many values as you want if you want to offer five or six colors you can if you want to offer 20 colors you can right just so you can give your customers different options right now once you're satisfied all you're gonna want to do is click on okay now you can click on this button right here that says save everything is saved okay so now if we go back over here to the store right as you can see we didn't have those options right so customers if they come they could either buy my frame poster with me on it which I highly doubt anybody would do I'm gonna click on this refresh button right up here reload this now customers have an option right so as you can see it says upload file you can click on that and you can upload a file okay for name okay whatever your name is or whatever the customer's name is they can type it in right there all right real simple they can choose the color background okay they can add it to the cart and once you get an order you come back over here you Shopify that order okay with the specifics of that order right is gonna be right here under orders right here under orders you're gonna actually see the actual image they uploaded the color background they picked, and the name that they typed out you're gonna see all that information right here and all you have to do is customize it for that customer right okay you can go on Adobe Illustrator and get that done but you're probably wondering hey Melvin how can I sit here and get that image turned into a cartoon well real simple you can come over here to a Fiverr you can type in something like cartoon faces and you're gonna get a bunch of designers right that can easily do this project for you now if you have a budget all you have to do is click right here where it says budget for max you can type in something like five bucks right okay and you can click on apply and right here you're gonna get a bunch of designers that can do this project for you for as low as five bucks right and all you have to do is click on one of these uh, designers here all you have to do is click right here where it says contact seller and right here as you can see this little file button here this little clip all you have to do is click on that and you can upload that image that the customer when they placed an order they uploaded an image you can put that image right here okay you can send it to your designer and you can let them know you would like that face turned into a cartoon all right real simple stuff and you would like that with a transparent background PNG all right once the designer is done they're gonna deliver that file to you okay and then you can go and take that image that the designer finished and sent to you you can upload it onto Adobe Illustrator you can choose your background you can add your text and you can upload it onto gelato right and you can process that order just like that for that customer if you guys need help or if you guys have any questions, you guys could leave them in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out with whatever process you guys need help with, all right? Now, at this point of the video, you might be wondering how can you promote your gelato print on a man wall art? That's why your next step should be to watch this video right here where I'll share with you the best ways to promote your print on demand products as a beginner. And best of all, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.